Well, it's game day for UTEP football. The Miners return to action, looking to bounce back from a pair of road losses to Power 5 programs. No Power 5 opponent today, but the Miners faced off against UNLV, a program that has beaten UTEP six out of the eight total times they've met. The Miners welcomed in the Rebels to the Sun Bowl tonight. UTEP looking for its first win over UNLV since 1993. Long time ago, UNLV uh, struck first. They lead 7-0, but uh, UTEP counters back its quarterback, Gavin Hardison, with the QB sneak game tied at 7. UNLV, though, would go up 14-7, and then again, UTEP marches down to their one-yard line and scores off the quarterback sneak game tied at 14 after the extra point. Second quarter now, UTEP down 21-14. Hardison trying to lead his team up the field, but instead, he dimes up the defense. Rebels Ball. Moments later, the Rebels at UTEP's five, and they go to Jaden Thomas, five-yard rushing touchdown. UTEP down two scores at the half. Second half, Torrance Burgess caps off UTEP's opening drive of the third quarter with an 11-yard touchdown run. UTEP down one score now. Defense trying to come up with a big stop, and they do. It's Praise Amehule making the big play, the one-handed grab. UTEP takes over, but unlike UNLV, UTEP cannot capitalize on the turnover. UTEP punts, UNLV gets the ball back and they score going to Thomas again. His fourth touchdown of the night, UNLV up two scores. Fourth quarter, Hardison going down deep to Jeremiah Ballard for the 27-yard touchdown. Miners down one score again, but less than eight minutes to go. The Rebels give the ball to not Thomas, but to Courtney Reese, who goes 32 yards to the house to extend UNLV's lead. At last check, UNLV up big with this game still in progress. KTSF 9 Sports Director Colin Deaver is live out at the Sun Bowl and has more. Yes, Sam, UNLV actually just kicked another field goal to go up 45-28 with a little under two minutes remaining in this game. It's been the ground attack as you went over in the highlights for the running Rebels that has led to them uh, getting this uh, big win or what will be a big win in El Paso. Over 300 yards rushing for UNLV tonight. Four touchdowns on the ground by one player. Six total touchdowns. All of their touchdowns, in fact, coming on the ground for UNLV. And we really talked about this game all week for UTEP as the game for them to turn their season around it's coming in at one and three on the season had to get the victory to get to two and three and have hopes of getting back to 500 next Saturday excuse me Friday at home against Louisiana Tech but unfortunately for the Miners that will not happen UNLV will get out of here with a victory and UTEP will fall to one and four on the season and have a lot of work cut uh, in front of them if they're going to get back in the hunt for a bowl game over the course of the season we talked about earlier uh, this week about how UTEP really needed to avoid turnovers in this one three turnovers all of them interceptions by Gavin Hardison. No big special teams plays. In fact, the Miners had a punt blocked by UNLV that contributed to that first UNLV touchdown. So all in all, just a poor team effort from UTEP. They battled in the second half to try to get back in this one, but ultimately it wasn't enough and UTEP will fall to one and four on the season. We'll have more coverage from this game tomorrow on nine overtime remix on KTSM. Sam, back to you.